for once we actually bring people together on this show. <laughs> okay, now we've had a lot of good laughs, but now I think it's time to learn something. Never teach yourself to drive. Leave it to a professional. Like me, Lou Hallander, California certified driving instructor, 18 years. <laughs> how are you? What is your name? Courtney. Hello, Courtney. Hi. Lou Hollander, how are you? Good. I'm pretty much like a Zen master when I drive. I want to tell you that. And I get very into it. Driving is a privilege. I like to become one with my vehicle. And by the end of this, you will be the Zen master also. First thing we want to do is have our hands in the position. 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Have you ever heard of that? I, on the other hand, Louis, go 10 o'clock, 2.15. You get a little bit more grip on the wheel of 2.15. 2.15, 2.20. Unless you're driving at night, usually after 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock, you usually drive at 11 o'clock, 3 o'clock. You know why? Because you're at night, you usually have to make more right turns. You ever notice that? Yeah, all right, so we ready? Don't you hate it when you see people with frowns all over the road? Don't you hate that? You want to say, hey, buddy, turn that frown upside down. And I always like to sing, maybe sometimes sing a song to myself. I like to drive at day, I like to drive at night. I like to drive slow, but never through a light, because I'm a driver, I'm a driver. And if you obey the laws, you can be a driver, too. Hoo, hoo. Any, any questions so far? You're doing great. When once in a while, you can speed, as long as the police aren't there. <laughs> now, I just have to do a quick stop. I'm gonna go by my ex-wife's house. I gotta pick up something for our cat. So you don't mind that real quick, right? By the way, you are doing fantastic. You know you got another car to get? You are doing amazing. Don't look so scared. You know, the driving is fun. Why are you nervous about? Because I'm scared to drive. Oh, don't be scared. And while you're in this car, nothing is gonna happen to you. See, where are my binoculars here? Oh, there she is in there with the muffin man or someone. I don't know who that guy is. That's uh, here she is. You can have a restraining order against you, you son of a bitch! Oh my god. Okay, we back up, put the wheel here. It's not the two o'clock, let's go. Well, obviously, she's not having a very good morning. Someone peed in her Cheerios. That was very strange, wasn't it? But that is a situation that you may run into as a driver. And that is a negative situation. You want to turn it into a positive. You stay to the right of the road and obey the signs. Now, let me ask you, do you think we can get your ma to maybe possibly pay for that sign? Well, okay. <laughs> Okay, rule of thumb, don't want to get a trash can. There are a lot of bad stereotypes in the driving world, but blonde women especially are considered bad drivers. You know why? why? It's because they have to think about the cooking, the cleaning, they're having babies, you know, they have to go to the supermarket, they knit. You know what I mean? They're dabbing like pigeons. There's a lot of things they have to think about, you know? So they have a lot on their mind. Hold on a second here. Yeah, it's Lou. What's the problem, Dwight? All right, blood sticker and water. See you in five. My brother lives around here, so I just have to give him a quick ride as we do it. You don't mind that, do you? By the way, you are doing fantastic. My brother is very odd. I mean, we're gonna meet him. He's a little bit of a weirdo. But he is sweet as molasses, but he's as crazy as an outhouse rat. He's as mean as a bag of wet cats. What's happening? Big baby over here. Here's my brother. See what's happening? Big baby over here. Hi. This is I, Courtney. This is White. Hi, Courtney. I'm Dwight. It's nice to meet you. How are you? I just need a ride. All right, happy. Thank but I'm on the clock. That looks like my ex-wife, doesn't it? Right, uh, maybe we can get some fashion tips from Courtney. She looks pretty fashionable. Yeah, I like this black. It's really nice. Hey, Courtney's nervous to drive, by the way. 
Really? Look at how great she's doing. You're doing like a pro. You're I doing couldn't... fantastic. I'm terrified behind the wheel. What do you like? Dante Culpepper? Yeah. He's cute, isn't he? Can you pull up over and here for a second? He's six. Pull six. up over here. This is Jones. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy. Pull up over here on the left. Pull oh up over here on the left. God. Hold on a second. This guy's he's, he's the guy who owes more money. Jones? My brother was a great football player until he grew breast. Oh my God. What, is, what the hell is happening here? <laughs> See, now this is another negative situation. I'm on the clock, Dwight. Let's go. I got a girl in here. She's paying good money. I've only showed, I haven't even showed her a three-point turn yet. Oh, I'm, there we are. That's okay. Rule of thumb, don't want to hit a trash can. I mean, normally I'd pick that up, but we're on a time crunch. And what's this called? Bad stop? Good stop. But you're in the middle of the street. Oh, yeah, that is a bad stop, isn't it? <laughs> well, Sally's not doing too good. She just tried to take my head off. Okay, that's not, okay, that wasn't good. I apologize. Rule of thumb, don't want to hit a curb. Do not want to hit a curb. And I'm on the wrong side of the street. Yeah. I don't know what to do with her. She came at me like a nutcase. Because she loves you so much and because you hurt her. How do I get her back? What would you do? How do you get her back? Mm-hmm. You want her back? Oh, I love her. She's tons of fun. If you really love someone. start looking somewhere else, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta see the two of them. These two together are incredible. You love this girl. I do love her. If you love somebody, you have to show them. You have to tell them, I love you. Should I tell her I love her? All right, yeah. I'm gonna go back. No, I, why don't you call her? Let me just look into her eyes. Why don't you go after you drop me off? <laughs> Should I just finish this first? All right, let's keep driving. This is good. Hey, you know, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here! <laughs> See, that's a bad driver. I'm sorry. That was road rage. I apologize. <laughs> Don't worry, nothing. She's a fine person. Kid, what, what the hell are you thinking? Don't you ever learn? Are you really that stupid? Oh, hey, Dwight. Hey. You. I love you. Know you know what I told you. 500 feet. Oh, and who's this? I love you. Is she your new girlfriend? Yeah, fishing for jailbait again? No, she's one of my students. Why don't you tell her the truth? Come on, have you told her what's really going on? Okay. The truth is, that's my ex, and you've been exed. You're on a new hidden camera show called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. And there's cameras here, there's cameras there, and they're everywhere! Courtney, I'm just gonna say, here's a little souvenir. <laughs> Drive safely, we'll be right back. <laughs>